Another Sunday comes and the war must resume as we begin the Battle of Carcano in 1160. Mispronunciations abound, but if you watch my French campaign, you know why. Either way, we are playing as Barbarossa once more, going up against a Milanese siege force and the Milanese field army. Interestingly though, this will be run by the Papacy, or Papacy, however you wish to pronounce it. So yeah, that's going to be that's gonna be an interesting one. Two armies, they say. For the record, ours is interesting. It's, it's cavalry heavy. We only have two units of infantry. One of foot and one unit of Italian infantry. And we have a bunch of skirmishers and then just royal knights of varying size. 20, 20 royal knights. What's the point? <laughs> what is the point? It'll be fine though, let's go ahead and find out our history, as this looks like an interesting one. Carcano was the site of an epic battle between the Holy Roman Emperor Frederick and joint forces of Milan and its near neighbours. According to some accounts of the battle, Barbarossa was forced to withdraw behind the walls of Baradeo or Bar Baradello. I did say pronunciation would be suspect, <laughs> when his forces were attacked in the flank by cavalry from Milan. The castle of Carcano was subsequently destroyed by the victors. You must do better than Barbarossa and win the battle. Game on. Welcome to take two as we correct the horrendous position we're in. Because this and them are not well suited for either fight they're about to be in. So we're just going to withdraw everything. You see, the enemy is like literally right in front of us, having already surrounded us. We're actually going to see if we can take out a few of these Genosian Sailor Archers. We're using our King, which sucks, but... Come on, guys, charge. Better than that. In a column. Why not? The main thing is just getting our forces together. Because if we can do that, we can surround the enemy. As it stands, we are in a horrid, horrid position. Guys, you actually need to break them and deal some damage before you can run away. I think that's enough. Get out of there. That's our king. We're not risking you any further. Loosen up as you run away. Running away is good. Come on. Great. We're getting attacked from a flank. So let's flank them. Forgot there's a unit in there. Once glorious trees, also glorious no more. Broke them, shattered and destroyed. Right, close up. One over. Let's get all the cavalry set up there, apart from the quick cav, which will do the job. Two units of infantry. That's all you need. Alright, now they're not set up right because things are columning, and that's never what you want. At least this gets them in a relative position. Yeah, I like how it set the archers up properly, but it didn't set any of the others up.
Alright, you guys, fire at will. Get some damage in when the enemy comes nearer. Gonna move over to the other side, get a bit of a better shot. This is a lot of enemies to deal with. And were these three units of mountain sergeants? 120 in total. Great. We have shots coming in now. So that spears, Italian. Okay, this is all their infantry basically on this side. Peasantry, Italian infantry. That's okay. Wow, big damage on him though. Alright, here they come. Might need. An extra unit just to try and help our archers keep them guarded yeah that's it running away now the sergeants don't know what hit him right these guys are definitely gonna need some help so let's get these charges going The Italian infantry over there is the annoying bit. All right, we have to charge in. Weird, weird, weird sides. Come over here, and we're going to charge these in the back. Yeah, they defend well versus cavalry, so we do need charges just to take them down. to rely on Royal Knights kind of being a boss, really? Because, uh... Yeah. Getting a bit minced. Kind of need to pile it on certain units and not have our general get caught like that. That's really bad. So we want our general coming over and attacking these in the flank. Coming over, go after those Genotians. Should be able to smash a bunch of them. Can't afford to churn this battle. Like a worthless cur. Milanese field. Okay. Okay. There's more than one general, so you know. <laughs> Let's keep going. Come on, guys, attack them. Don't don't attack the infantry. Leave the spears alone. The archers. Fight the archers. The other general is fleeing. Good. Good. All right. Royal Knights. You are needed over here. I think if our cavalry can sustain it, we should be able to see all this break and keep breaking. We are going to grab... A unit from over here though because we need to help our general out hot skidan bag come on get over there i know they're losing badly but still can't grab that cavalry come on get over there once this breaks as long as he's alive barbarossa stay in there there's 73 of you you'll be fine Oh, just right. A few of them are coming back. Go beat up some spears. What's left archer wise? Bunch of you. 
Get them set up to annoy, harass, and fire on stuff. The enemy general is taken and awaits your mercy. Yeah. See if we can just fire out that unit because I think everything else is uh, is cracked. Awesome. Game. Good on ya. That was a unit of a uh, hobbyliere. These are all still running. Yep, they're all still running. Nothing chasing them down. Let's go and start chasing them. Just waiting for that sweet game. <laughs> I mean... Considering the, the unit composition, I'm actually surprised this went as well as it did. Because they had a lot of spears in there. And that is a lot of dead sprites. Or it be the sprites. This guy, right here. His name was Hans. Hans was a legend. That was literally the most German name I could think of, sorry. Alright, looks like some of these are actually coming back, so we do need to start charging a few more things down. Speed this up. There we go. Defeat both Milanese armies to win. Marvellous. Once more, it took two tries. I think that's going to be a theme for Barbarossa. But hey-ho, we have once more reigned victorious. The war on Sunday ever continues. So till next time, as always, peace out.